Hi everyone, this is Judy from Judy's Handmade Creation. If you haven't subscribed and you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for all the old subscribers. And today I, I'm coming back and showing the, um, my cross stitch project that I was working on on Saturday that I did a live stream on. You can, you can check that out at the end of the video. It'll be at the end of the video. And I had downloaded this from dmc.com. They have free um, cross stitch patterns that you can download. And I down downloaded this. And it, it lets you know all the supplies you need and how to cross stitch it. Cross -stitch it. let you know all that and all this here that you print out and let you know where you stitch your stitch in your um letters and I only did letter C because I wanted to do I wanted to put it in a frame and I put Put it in a three and a half by five inch frame. This was a dollar frame. And here's the finish cross stitch that I did. And I put it in this frame. It's got a glare to it. I didn't do the, the outline of it because I didn't like the way it looked. So I just did the letter, the letter C, and I put it in this three and a half inch by five inch frame so that's this is how it looks let me get it close to the camera so you can see the stitching that's the stitching that I did in it and I suppose I had took black thread and went around the outline of it but I didn't I like it just the way it is like this and this is going to be gifted to someone. And this was done on this was done on 14 count Ada, like it says in the instructions in this download that I downloaded. It tells you to do it on 14 14 count Ada fabric. And that's what I did it on. And um, I used a small hoop like this. That's what I, this is a four inch hoop. That's what I used to do the cross stitch. And another thing I want to show you is what I use to see my stitches up close I had took in um <clears throat> I had took in this is white Ada but I dyed uh, um took a little bit of pink dye and made it like a light pink And it turned out pretty nice. I think so anyway. For somebody who's just learning how to cross stitch. So that's that. And I had did a live stream working on this. I did a live stream working on it. You'll be able to see the live stream at the end of this video if you want to check that out. Because I, I was showing how I was stitching it and what um fabric that I used to stitch it on you will see all that on that video it was a live stream that I did on Saturday I think and I wanted to put this in a frame and that's what I did with this one this is a this frame came from a dollar this is a dollar a dollar tree store dollar frame And I also wanted to show you 
this here. This is new. I purchased this. I purchased this at Walmart because I needed a new magnifying glass for needlework and reading. And what I like about this one, you get this at Walmart for $15. It comes with the case to protect your magnifying glass. And this is the package that it came in. You get get batteries with it. Let me put it in front of the camera. You get batteries with it, but I I had some batteries. So it's it's a um this is hand free LED magnifying glass. It's got a built in LED for low light viewing. Adjustable cord for hand hand free use and it also has a little fold out stand this converts magnifying magnifier for a desktop use you can pop that out and you can use it on your desk and stand up on your desk like that and you can Face it down like that, and you can work on your project and see it close up on the table. And the magnifying glass in here, this hand free feature is ideal for reading and needlework. Folds out stand converts magnify for desktop use. 2.5x by 4x spot lens, built in LED for low light viewing, adjust cord for hand free use, converts easily to desktop stand, crystal clear and distorted free lens. You get the, like I said, you get the storage case and you get the batteries and you get the instructions with it. I think I put the instructions in here. You get the instructions. And this is good if you like to do reading and needlework. You get your instructions. And what I like about it, you can take, use it on a desktop. You can also take this string here. You can adjust it to your, how high you want it on your neck because this is adjustable. And you turn it, you got a little light here. This is a little switch in the back that turns your light off and on. And I like it because I can see my letters real good and my stitching real good. And you just work here on your project and you can see everything. It'll be closer up if you have a hard time seeing when you're cross stitching or doing your needlework or reading and this is nice to have if you do needlework or cross stitch you probably can even use this for crocheting if you want to see your stitch closer up if you have trouble seeing your stitch and I like it because you can adjust this and and hand free if you want to like sit on a couch and work you got this slide here you can see your work work good if you don't have a light by your couch or wherever you're setting and this works good I really like it and like I said Walmart has this for $15 and some change and it's pretty nice it's a magnifying glass and you get your work close up and this this how big is this this here That's pretty big. That's a little pop out stand back here. You pop it out and set it on your table. That's the little light right there when you turn it on. That's your little light. And yeah, this is a nice little, little magnifying glass to have if you like reading or working on your needle projects. 
And like I said, you get it at Walmart, $15 and some change. And you can't go wrong. And the brand is Tourette's brand. And it's really nice. I just wanted to stop in and um, show my um, project that I work on. You take when you get done with it, you can put your cover on it to protect your lens. Don't get no scratches on it. And put it back in your project bag. Oh, another thing I want to show you is my project bag. I keep all my, this is my projects that I work on for cross stitch and needlework. I put it in this waterproof bag. And I keep all my, my little plastic case in there. And my glasses. And keep everything in there. So when you go, all you have to do is grab your project bag and you're ready to go to work on your project. And everything will be right in here. I keep all my scissors and my needles in here. And there. And this was an easy, easy project to work on. I'm putting it all back in there. And like I said, you can da go download this at um, dmc.com like I did. But you have to enter your email so they can send you emails. But this is for, they, they have a lot of free cross stitch and embroidery. And they have mitten patterns, I think. Maybe some crochet. I don't get, get download the crochet pattern. They might have crochet, but I did see some mitt ones. But you can go download this from dmc.com. And this is cross stitch. I just wanted to do just some letters and put this in a frame to give to someone. And that's how it looks. And that's this is a cute little project. And I like it. It turned out nice. I didn't put the, like I said, the outline around it, but it still looks nice. And the stitching looks pretty good for a beginner. Okay, I guess I'm done. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for being a subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you're new here, hit the bell so when I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And thanks so much. Have a great day. Be blessed. Bye-bye.